We signed up on the Med Waiver waiting list when he was three years old and were told that help would be on the way in about eight years was the wait. In the meantime, there was just no access to healthcare. Um, once the ACA was starting, I thought, oh, this is going to be something that's going to save me and be, mean that I can continue looking after JJ. There's um, just so much lifting involved with, um, he, can, he can't walk, he can't support himself to stand up, he can't sit without holding on to him, he, you have to feed him, which for, it can take an hour, just, it, it sounds like feeding, you think of somebody eating for 10 minutes, but the, everything, everything takes 10 times minimum as long as everything else. So that meant we're in category seven. Category seven is the lowest need. There's, I think she said 23,000 people on it now. So there's probably about 20,000 people who are in more dire circumstances than we are. Um, so we've just been sitting, circling, with no access to the med waiver program. So we can't get any help there. We phone Medicaid and say, because JJ has Medicaid and say, is there any help? And they say, call Agency for Persons with Disabilities, med waiver program. We call the med waiver program. They say, call Medicaid. And we just are juggled between the two of them. Um, I've contacted our legislators and they just, they describe me as able-bodied with no dependents. And I mean, it's clearly untrue. I've asked, I've written to um, Rick Scott, written to Scott Plakin and tried to contact Jason Brodeur and said, what viable options are there? This is the hardest job I have ever done most rewarding but hardest hardest backbreaking work so what is it I, I would do anything to make sure that I can take care of my health to take care of him and I've said what, what's out there and I just mm. I don't get a reply there's nothing so I um I don't know if if I can't get a reply I don't know how to I don't know what to do it, and I just see things getting harder and harder every day. I'm starting to limp now because lifting him, my back, I know from years ago I had ruptured discs then, um, I have a hernia, all these things that are mm. untreated and I, I need to be able-bodied to look after him I, I, and they're saying if you're able-bodied then we don't want to give you health care and it's it's pushing me into a position where I, i'm not going to be able to take care of him and i don't I, i'm kind of thrown in a black hole but, and they've greased up the sides and I, I don't know how to get out of it i don't know how to get out of it But this is my life that we're talking about. My life. That... Yes, especially at our governor. <laughs> I mean, this is this is my life, um, and, and a life that's responsible for another life that is totally dependent on me being alive. And I, I don't... why is my life an emergency? It's hard enough dealing with somebody who has the disabilities that JJ has to on top of that have to chase up somebody who was elected 
to represent me and JJ as well as all the Republicans in the county or in the district. It, it's not supposed to be, well, you know, I, I just, I don't think you have value.